Hey, hey guys, it's Randy. I am here today to do uh, some Dreamer Designs unboxings. I'm actually gonna unbox three different paintings, but I will show you what they are first. That way you can decide if you wanna stick around or not. Um, the first one we'll do is the smallest one. And it is actually Red Riding, and this is by Curtis Reykovich, and it's a 40 by 50. So she will be the first painting that will open up. Let me show you what she looks like up close. And then the second one is by Julie Filipenko. It is called Creating Yourself, and it is an 80 by six, or 60 by 80. So that's what she looks like. And last but not least, by Carolyn Steele, we have Fandango. I just thought that was so pretty with the um, turtle and the corals underwater, and it's an 80 by 60. So let's start out with our smallest painting, which is going to be Red Riding. Now, let's talk about this for a minute. So she's only a 40 by 50. And both Harley and Luna Lovegood have been 60 by 80. So I gotta tell you, I'm pretty disappointed in Dreamer Designs for making this painting so small. But what really upsets me is there's a picture called Symphony um, that's one of his best paintings, um, Curtis Reykovich. And they also made it in the 40 by 50 size. And it's, it's round instead of square. There's no way that you're gonna get a nice, beautiful image out of that. So I'm really disappointed. Um, we'll see what this guy looks like once it's completed, but I'm on the fence if I'm going to get that other painting or not. I'll put a picture of it right here so you can see what it looks like. And she is coming out this next Friday. Um, today is Wednesday, so there's only two more days left. Anyway, so let's get back to this now that I've bored you. This is the Dreamer Designs bag that it comes in. It's kind of a little, I don't know, canvas feeling bag. You get your painting with a little ribbon, comes with a foam insert. This one's a smaller one, so you only get the one bag of drills. Sometimes if it's a larger painting, they'll put two in there. And we've got our toolkit and goodies that are in this little bag. So let me show you what all you get in here. If you've seen me unbox before, then you'll know already. So this is a square, so you will be getting the pointy tweezers. Let's see if I can open this up one-handed here. Very pointy tweezers. And they're branded. And then you'll get two little sparkly pens. One has the plastic tip and one has the brass tip. You'll get two trays. Both say Dreamer Designs on them. They're just little white trays. You'll get two squishies to put on your pens. You will get a bunch of baggies, extra baggies if you need them. There will be two wax in here, like so. Two of those. And then you will get a straightener, a three-placer, and a six-placer. And these are the chunky placers. Some people like the really thin ones. These are more chunky. All right. So let's get into this painting. Let's open this sucker up. Um, I probably have mentioned this every single time that I've gotten a painting from them. But... The canvas is incredibly stiff. I don't know why they make it so stiff. And I can't remember what they call it. I thought I saw somebody where it's like cloud canvas or something like that. I was like, I don't, 
I don't know if they're talking about the poured glue on it or what, because the canvas itself does not feel like a cloud. <laughs> anyway, so y'all know that I'm newer to Dreamer Designs, but uh, this is poured glue. I'm actually working on Harley right now. So here is Red Riding. Like I said, she's a 40 by 50. Um, so she's a little bit smaller. Um, she is a square, yes. She's definitely a square. So we'll look at the drills in just a minute here. Um, she's sticky. Let's look at the drill field up close. Everything looks pretty good. Those, the peas that are on that bright red right here are kind of faint. It's kind of hard to see them because the red is so bright. It's very saturated in the red areas, like even where her lips are. But you can see the peas on there if you look really close. I bet it will probably help having a light pad. I don't know. Um because the painting that I'm working on right now, I'm not working in the colored area. It's just like a bunch of brown color blocking. So anyways, this is what she looks like. It's her and she's got something in her hair right there. And then her little uh, unicorn wolf. <laughs> I know some people were like, that's creepy or I like him, but I don't like the horn on him. So. You could, you could probably cover that up, but that's just how it was rendered. I like her little freckles that she's got on her face there. And then she's just got her little uh, hood on there. So that's what she looks like. Let's flip her over. And we will look at the drills. I can get in here. And of course, if you don't like the crinkle, I am sorry. But if you don't, what's wrong with you? That's half the fun. Okay, so I guess, um, oh, before we get into the drills, hello. I'm not paying attention here. Let me show you what comes folded up in the canvas. So you've got their social media here. And on the back, it's instructions. So if you've never diamond painted before, this will tell you uh, how to do it and how to use your toolkit. Then you also get this legend. And there are 47 colors and one AB. So that'll be the letter O. Kind of like with Diamond Art Club, um, it seems like O is the AB08. It's kind of that off-white color. Doesn't look like there's a ton of them in the bag down there, but we'll see. So, I uh, the one that I kitted up, the Harley one that I kitted up, it's a little difficult to get these off of the plastic here, at least with the last one. So, I wish that they had something where these were already pre-cut, but they don't. So, anyways, that's how that works. Like I said, 47 colors, 1AB. And here is our AB right here, AB08. Looks like there's a little yellow straggler in there. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And basically they have a iridescent coating on there, as you can see. And it just uh, gives them that sparkle, that iridescent look. So it's nice. Um, it pulls out the colors around it. You know, they look pink and green and blue and all different colors when you put them down there, so. There's a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about. So that is the 1AB. It's not a very big bag, um, but it's not a very big painting either. So let's see what we've got here. We've got lots of strips of drills. I don't know why they make so many strips. Okay, so let's start here. We've got 3712. 3713, 
3727, 3799, 3834, 3860. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I'm back. So, the next color is 838. We've got 840, 841, 842, 902. That's a pretty kind of a rust color. We've got 938, 939, 3328, 3371, and 3705. That's a really pretty color. And our next bag, or set of bags, we've got 318, 321, 322, 347. We've got a bag of 413, 414. We've got two bags of 415, 498, and a little bag of 666. 152, 154, 221, 223, 224. We've got two, eh, not very big bags of 310. 315, 317, and 318. And last, but definitely not least, we've got a small bag of 712, small bag of 760, 762, 778, 779, 814. We actually have two bags of 814. 815, a small bag of 819, and 823. So those are all of the colors. And like I said, we've got the one very tiny bag of off-white ABs. So let's see where that goes. The O symbol right there. So we have some right here, just a couple throughout there, a couple through here. Um, we've got just a couple in a couple of places and several places right through here. So they're gonna be just a touch sprinkled throughout the little wolf baby. We've got three right there. We've got three in the eye. We've got just a few right around the mouth here. Um, in her little hair piece, she's got just a couple. And I don't see any. Oh, there's just a few right here and right here. There's three or four throughout there. There's just a couple right here. And that looks like that's it, guys. Oh, just, just a handful right there. So you're seeing just a touch throughout the edges, not very much. A little bit right through here. There's two on her nose. Oh, and there is a couple right here on her forehead. So those are going to be your ABs on this one. Um, that's all I know about this girl. Like I said, she's a little bit smaller. Uh, she is a square, so that'll help with the detail some. But that is Red Riding by Curtis Rykovich. So let's move on to the next painting, and I'll show you what we've got. All right, guys, here is painting number two. This is Creating Yourself by Julie Filipenko. It is a 60 by 80. I believe it's a square two. Um, I was just intrigued by this image. I, I just thought it was really interesting. This little sailor girl is giving herself a tattoo. At first, I thought it was... Alice in Wonderland, and then my friend Miranda was like, no girl, you mean the sailor chick? And I was like, oh, yeah. So I looked at it closer and realized it is a sailor girl. All right, since we just did the other painting, I'm not going to go through what's in the toolkit and all that stuff. We will go through colors and we will figure out where the ABs are, but I'm not going to worry about going through the toolkit again. Let's take that out. And because it's a larger painting, yes, it is a square, there are two bags of drills instead of just one. So it's square. And then you don't have the 
schematic or the legend until after you open this up because it is folded up on the inside of the painting. So you have to pull that out. So let's look at this real quick before we look at the canvas. It's 51 colors and we have two ABs. Such an interesting picture. I like the sky. I think it's really pretty how it's got the dark blue up here and then it turns lighter and it's almost like a, a little pink sunset or something that's really pretty. It looks like she's got a little mouse up here and then she's got, I guess those are rabbits with masks on. <laughs> so, and she's giving herself a tattoo here on her leg. So I don't know, I just thought it was a cool picture. I think it'll be fun to do. Um, yes, there will be some color blocking and you guys that know me know that I am more of a confetti girl. So I think once we get in hair and things like that, it'll kind of balance out, but there's definitely gonna be some, some pretty heavy color blocking in certain sections. Um, still think she's gonna be great though. I don't think I showed you in the um, last unboxing, but you've got a legend over here and then you've got a legend over here. Well, let's just grab this one and go for it. We've got 803, 815, 819, we have, wow, four bags of 823, which is a very dark blue. And then we've got three bags of 825. I imagine because there's so much sky on there that that's what, where all the blue goes. And then we've got 3842, which is another blue. 3843, 3846. So you've got two bags of AB08, and then you've got two bags of AB46. And they are, they're a little bit more blue. I don't know that they're necessarily periwinkle, but it's got kind of that shine to it as well. So those are gonna be our two ABs. We have a small bag of 318, which is like a light gray. We've got 321, 322, 327, 414, 433, 436, 498, 666, and 738. We've got a big old bag of 826, another blue. We've got 893, 894, 938. We have two pretty good sized bags of 939. We've got a very small bag of 972, 996, 3354, and 3705. We've got 739, 775, 778, 780, 782, 796, 798. We've got two bags of 799, and those are pretty good sized bags. Another blue there, and 800. We're getting there, guys, we're getting there. Well, it looks like we're gonna have quite a few 310s which I think is the shadow of the trees. We've got 159, a small bag of 160, 208, 209, 223, and we have one, two, three, four bags of 310. So we've got some pretty good sized bags of 310, and then we've got a small bag of 317. And the last strip is 3713. 3716, 3722, we have two bags of 3727, 3799, we have two bags of 3808, which is almost a tealy color, and then we've got two good sized bags of 3842, so that's another blue. Got a lot of blues in there, oh, except for that green. All right, guys, so that's that. So on the legend, We've got 
our two ABs. We've got O, which is that off-white color. So let's see where all of these go. And that's the one that looks like this. So we're gonna find out where these two bags go. All right, so we have some in this light part throughout her hair where it's like lighter. We've got a bunch throughout her face, kind of in the light areas of her face. We've got some down in the hair here. We've got little strips going down here that are lighter down here. We have a bunch in the dress, a lot in the dress, some in the hair there. Around the sleeves, through the center of the dress right here. We've got a couple right here. And yeah, most of her dress is made up of white ABs. And then in the mask, actually in all the masks of the bunnies, um, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that, okay. And then throughout the chest here and the tail, there are a couple, there are a couple throughout here and in the flowers. So you're getting a good bit of those off-white ABs. This rabbit here is primarily white ABs. And there's quite a bit in this one too, at least on the outer edge and all in the mask. There's just a couple right here through the bottom of her shoes. And there are a few throughout the tattoo, just right in this section. So those are gonna be all of your white ABs. The blue color is gonna be G, AB46. So let's look for this color. So where is the G, 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 G? Ah, okay. There's a bunch through the sky, right in here where it gets lighter, right through here. All in here, wow, okay. So the sky and the lighter spots, that's where the G is. Make sure you can see her hair still. And then down here where it's lighter in these little spots. Um, and where else? A couple of places in her dress. There are just a few of them. There's just a couple right through here. Just a couple little strips in the center there, right here. So in some of the sort of medium blue spots on the dress, they're just sort of speckled throughout a little bit. Let's see if there's any in the tattoo. Nope, none in the tattoo. Um, and I don't see any down on the very bottom where the bunnies and stuff are either. Oh, there's just a couple right through the mask there. None down here though. Yep, so you're just gonna get little tiny bits in this sort of medium blue area on the dress and you're gonna have the majority of it in this, these sort of lighter spots in the sky. And that's about it for those ABs. I hope that you enjoyed looking at her. Um, I think she's gonna be super fun to do. Like I said, it's kind of quirky, but I think it's a cool painting. So let's move on to our last one. I'll roll her up and then we will look at the Fandango painting, which is the turtle um, that's underwater. I think that's gonna be really beautiful too. All right, guys, so last but definitely not least, we have Fandango from Carolyn Steele. Um, if you know anything about me, you know that I grow live coral, and so I had to have this one. I know they've been putting a lot of underwater scenes um, up lately for purchase, but this was the only one that's really spoken to me that I just thought was beautiful. It is an 80 by 60. Um, I believe this one is also a square. I think all three of them that I got were square this time. So let's take this out. Man, I wish they would just put, make the box just a little bit bigger. Oh man, it's, it's always so tight in there. That's what she said. Okay. So 
Let's take this out of the bag. You know the drill. Get the painting out. I'm sure there'll be two bags of drills in this one because it is a large painting. And of course, I can never get the drills back in exactly the way they put them in. Get the bag out of here. All right. Let's move this out of the way. I don't know why it's called Fandango. If you know why, let me know. I'm just not real sure. There's our legend. Watch me struggle. Wow. <clears throat> so one of the things that I had always heard about Dreamer Designs is how saturated the colors were on the canvas. And since I'd never had one before, I didn't know, especially the um, ones with scenery. You know, most of the stuff Dreamer Designs does is like fields and, you know, different, different types of landscape. But this one looks like it has a lot of color to it. Wow, that's really cool. Let me see if I can put you up here some. And I don't know if I can get the glare off of there. Probably not, but I'll pick it up so you can see it a little better. Um, so here's the big turtle. And then we've got a bunch of little fish all over the place. Another turtle up here. And then a brain coral down here. Um, little sea fans. I mean, there's just a bunch of different stuff going on. The colors are bright. I, it's not a deal breaker for me. I don't think these are super saturated. I mean, it's a lot brighter than, you know, Diamond Art Club or uh, Die Moon Shop or something like that. It's definitely more vivid than that, but I don't think that it's crazy colored. I don't know. I guess we'll see after I work on it for a while. So here's a little up close look at the symbols. And I'm trying to put you on this kind of orangey area so you can see the color. Let me flip you up here. So it's, it's pretty bright up at the top where this tealy color is. But it's not terrible. Oh man, there's going to be a lot of color blocking. Ugh. But then there'll be quite a bit of confetti over here. So I think it'll be a good mix. Anyway, I think it's a cool painting. Let's see how many colors this sucker has. So again, it's got the name up here, Fandango. This is the legend. It is sticky, but it's hard to get off. It just is. So we have 61 colors and we have, oh wow, one, two, three, four, five ABs. That's nice. I hope they give us a good bit of each one. So let's start with the smaller bags here, the smaller section. I think our ABs will probably be in with these. So we've got 832, 918, 920, 921. We've got 934, 936, 938. We actually have two kind of smallish, medium-sized bags of 938. And we have two more full bags of 958. We've got 3731. We've got 3733. Sorry about the glare there. 3750. 3809. 3810. We've got two bags of 3812. That's a pretty color. Kind of an aqua color. We've got 3821, 3822, and 3827. And this last small strip, we've got 3838, 3842, 3844, 3852, and then we've got our, looks like they put all the ABs together. I'm getting used to this. So there is that first AB. There's the second one, which there's not a ton of, but it's like a kind of a bright yellow. We've got my favorite lime green. So this has got 
that color going on. And then we've got a purple, almost like a one of the 200s, what, 209? I can't ever remember exactly. That's what color that looks like. And then again, with this AB46, it's almost a periwinkle-ish color. So those are the ABs. And then we've got all the big bags here. We have only one bag of 310s. Wow. We'll have to look and see if we have any more throughout, but uh, that's the only bag of 310s. We've got 327 with a straggler. We have 333, 340, 434, 469, 470. We've got 550, 552, and 554. And, sorry, that's backwards. Oh, wow. So we've got two pretty good, nope, my bad. Those are different colors. Okay, so we've got 958 right here, and then very similar is 959. And then we have two smallish bags of 964. And then we've got 976, 977, 995, that's a good color. We've got 3348, 3350, and 3371. That kind of chocolatey brown. And, oh, we do have another small, small-ish bag of 310. So there is just a little bit more 310 in there. We've got 150, 151, 155, 158. We have two bags of 208, 209, 300, 307, and then that other little bag of 310s. And the last strip, we have 647. We have two kind of smallish to medium sized bags of 677, 721, 777. 799, 801, 814, 823, and then 828, a little bag of that. So those are all of our colors. I think that's nice. I mean, you get kind of a, a bunch of teal and blue and I don't know. I think that'll look really good together. Let's move these off of here and flip her back over. Make sure she's in frame there, yes. Okay, so when we are looking at our ABs, let's just start with our off-white color because that's the first one. So again, that's O, and that's gonna be this color. That's probably the bag with the most ABs in it. So, um, if I was an O, where would I be? Some right here in this fish, in the tails. Um, we've got a couple in the mouth right here. Some right here. Um, those O's, yeah, they are. So this whole area right through here where the light's shining through, like maybe where the sun's kind of coming down into the water, these are all gonna be those white ABs. And then, there are just like four right here, just a couple over here. Um, and again, in the fish, just a touch. And that is all I'm seeing for the O's. I think you're just gonna get that main concentrated area up there and that's where it's gonna be. It looks like there's a tiny strip right there. All right, so our next AB is AB 37. And that is the yellow color, and it's kind of like a small T. So that's going to be this one. So let's look for the small T. And this is such a big painting. It could be anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Hmm. Well, sorry, 
Sorry, guys. Bear with me. Um. Hmm. I was thinking maybe in the turtle because it's kind of yellow or over here, but I don't. I don't see any of them. Oh, okay. So right through here and just a couple through here. Um, and just a few in his nose right here. Yeah, that's about it. So it's just sort of in between these areas a little bit. That's it, guys. There may be some up in this other turtle. Okay, there's just a couple right here and a couple right here where his arm is, his little fin is. And that's it. I knew we didn't have very many in there, but that's all there is. So our next AB is going to be that green AB that I like so much. And it doesn't have a very big bag either. So it's gonna be like the little sideways bow tie. And that's gonna be these guys. So we've got just a couple right here. Um, we've got just a few over on this side. There are a couple down here on his chin. Um, there are some just right down here and just a few right there. And yeah, that's it. That's it for, for that AB, for the green AB. Um, let's see here. The AB34 is the return arrow right here, and that is going to be this sort of lavender. I think that one may be the smallest amount, the ABs with the smallest amount. So, return arrow, where are you? Hmm. Okay, just a couple right here on the end of the sea fan. Let's see if there are any more on this side. Wow, okay. Uh, I don't see any over here. No, I think that's all. Just this sort of lighter area right through the tip of that sea fan. That's it. That's it, that's it. And then last but not least, we have probably the second most <clears throat> in this color, sort of that periwinkle color. And that is going to be this little symbol right here. Let's see where it is. Oh, okay, so there are some in this fish down here. They're like dotted throughout in that like blue looking area. And there are just a couple right through here, right here. There are some over here in the corals. Um, and it looks like in these fish, just in this section, of these fish um, right here on the top of these guys and I think that's all she wrote yep that's it so primarily in these guys the, they look like they have them in all of these fish. And there's just a couple right here on top of that guy. So those are all the ABs. And again, this is Fandango. 
I don't know if you can see that without the glare on there, the big turtle. So anyway, this guy is another 60 by 80. <laughs> you guys know that I like my paintings large. That's primarily what I work on is 60 by 80. So um, it's square. It'll probably take me a little while, but I think it'll be fun. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give me the old thumbs up and hit the subscribe button over here if you'd like to see more videos and hit that bell too and it will let you know anytime that I put up a new video. So take care guys. I appreciate you stopping by and let me know in the comments if you made it this far. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you like when I do three unboxings, two unboxings? Do you want them separate? Basically, I tried to separate them. That way you could sort of see what was coming up. Let me know. I'd really like to know if you want separate videos or if this worked for you. I know it's still not a terribly long video, so let me know. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.